Imagine you are on a spaceship, exploring the wonders of the cosmos. You see a bright star in the distance and decide to get closer. But as you approach, you realize that it is not a star, but a black hole, a cosmic trap that nothing can escape from. You try to turn around, but it is too late. You are falling into the abyss. What will happen to you? Will you be crushed, stretched, fried, or transported to another dimension? Find out in this episode of What If. A black hole is a place in space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light. They are formed when massive stars die and collapse under their own weight. Some black holes are millions or even billions of times more massive than the sun, while others are as small as an atom but with the mass of a mountain. So what would happen if you got too close to one of these cosmic monsters? Well, it depends on the size and type of the black hole. There are three main categories of black holes, primordial, stellar, and supermassive. Primordial black holes are the smallest and the most mysterious. They are thought to have formed in the early universe, when tiny fluctuations in density caused some regions to collapse into tiny black holes. These black holes could be anywhere from the size of an atom to the size of a mountain, but they would be very hard to detect. If you fell into one of these, you would be instantly crushed by the extreme gravity and density. Stellar black holes are the most common, and the ones we know the most about. They are formed when massive stars run out of fuel and explode in a supernova, leaving behind a dense core that collapses into a black hole. These black holes can be up to 20 times more massive than the Sun, and have a radius of about 30 kilometers. If you fell into one of these, you would experience something called spaghettification. This is because the gravity near the black hole is much stronger than the gravity far away from it, so your feet would feel a much stronger pull than your head. This would stretch you out like a spaghetti noodle until you were torn apart by the tidal forces. Supermassive black holes are the largest and the most powerful. They are found at the centers of galaxies and can have masses of millions or billions of suns and radii of millions of kilometers. These black holes are surrounded by swirling disks of gas and dust called accretion disks that emit intense radiation. They also have powerful jets of plasma that shoot out from their poles at near light speeds. If you fell into one of these, you might not feel the spaghettification as much because the gravity gradient is not as steep. However, you would still be fried by the radiation from the accretion disk and eventually cross the event horizon. The event horizon is the point of no return for a black hole. It is the boundary beyond which nothing can escape, not even light. The event horizon is also where time and space get warped by the extreme gravity. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, time slows down near a massive object, and space contracts along the direction of motion. This means that if you were falling into a black hole, you would see the outside world speed up and shrink, while you would appear to slow down and stretch to an outside observer. But what would you see inside the event horizon? Well, no one knows for sure, because we have no way of observing or communicating with anything inside a black hole. Some scientists think that inside a black hole, there is a singularity, a point of infinite density and zero volume, where all the laws of physics break down. Others think that there might be a wormhole, a shortcut through space and time that could lead to another universe or another location in our universe. But these are just speculations, and we may never know the truth. So what if you fell into a black hole? The short answer is, you would die. The long answer is, you would die in a very strange and fascinating way, experiencing some of the most extreme phenomena in the universe. Black holes are amazing and mysterious, but so are aliens. What if they came to Earth? How would we deal with them? Find out in our next episode, what if aliens visited Earth? Don't miss it, and please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.